morning people this little section of the roof here there's a valley that runs down the roof there and it's dumping a lot of water down through here and it's hitting this box a uh, little gutter which is bringing it around the corner now somebody's just tried to patch that by throwing an absolute load of cement in there okay over the top of the secret gutter so what we're going to do is we're going to put some lead up there tuck it under that we'll put a new um new gutter in there and then we're going to put some new lead up there to stop it from leaking cover the whole lot with some cover flashing um, to try and stop any water getting in all right so this is a little bit of leaking you're getting it from the bottom so it seems to be above where that uh, secret gutter is all right so just before we get going we're going to be cleaning the area and just so you know this is very dirty nobody should do that Okay, so what I'm just showing you here is sometimes on these little roofs, you see the box gutters in there, or the little secret gutters in there, it's easy to remove the first row of tiles just above it and then work through the top roof to get at the bottom roof, which is okay down there now this this house would be a hundred years plus old so a lot of the stuff has been dodged in the first place to make it work I don't know who did the gutters I didn't but you can see the woods old he's been spilling low so I mean the guy who's done it's obviously done the best he can not brilliantly but the best he can to get it done so we're gonna pretty much be doing the same down here all right let's get to it so I don't know if you can see it but what he's actually done down this side of the house and the reason you're getting the leaking is he's used a apron that you should be using on a tin roof rather than the secret gutter that you should be using on metal on a tiled roof so you can see exactly what he's done he's just put a piece of metal in there so any water that's landed on there now falls down and into the roof there's no edge on that to stop it from falling in so whoever did that really it was quite bad so what we're going to do with the lead the lead keeps the water above the tiles i'll show you it at the end and it doesn't let it get below them so it won't drip into the wall the roof any any water that comes off it will come back onto the tiles and run away the new piece of flashing um it's bigger than obviously the old one i've made it quite a bit bigger um because i can always cut it back and also that way I know it won't leak. Watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the silicon on the lap before I rivet it together. So not only will it be riveted together, but it'll be glued together.
So that's that done, that's stopping. Now if you want to see that done really, really well, I did another video where I, I went into that with detail and I'll link that at the end of this. So click on that and it'll show you how to make the stop in really, really well. Okay, so I've put the secret gutter up I did in place and you can see there I've marked it where the wall is I'll cut a bit longer than that and then down the bottom here I've marked where I want it to stop because I'm gonna have lead come under there so where it stops there we'll run it onto the tile and it'll run away So you can see we've got him in place. He's much bigger than he used to be. We will pin that back to the wall, so it will look very good afterwards. But now we're gonna start from the bottom and work up. That's how you always do it when you're flushing walls. So first we're gonna put in that lead, then we'll pin that box cutter, and then the final bit will be that top bit there that we'll do. It's, um, it's a lead substitute, but what it does is it keeps the water above the tiles so we don't have anything dropping under it. We've got the little lip there, which is going to stop anything going on. Now this has a sticky edge. Can you see that sticky edge there? So it sticks to the wall. And there's that as well on the bottom here. We don't know if you can see that. So it actually adheres to the tiles and it's gonna just run it down and into the gutter there, you see? which is then going to take it away. Now we'll put a, a small cover flashing on that just so we can seal it to the wall. Um, it doesn't help the type of wall this is, but that's what we'll do. And that'll just finish it off. All right, quickly as discussed, there's your lead work, which runs up from your gutter. So it comes up, hits your box gutter or secret gutter, goes across. So that's going to disperse it from the corner. And then from there, you can see that we have the lead work which runs it down and into that secret gutter running up and tucking under the valley so now what we'll do is we'll test it and put the tiles back and they're ready to go and there you have it all done all dusted working beautifully running it down the tiles. If you like this, please subscribe and I'll catch you on the next one. Okay, so that row of tiles is back on. Now, in case you didn't notice, when I was running the water, it was getting a bit close to a crack in the tiles right here. So what I've done, I just grabbed two little bits of lead and put it over there so it won't leak. It's the beauty about running a little bit of water. You can see how it all works. All right, beautiful. Very happy with that. And I will see you on the next video.